Hey everybody, welcome to Reading the Bible for Cats. The kitties are snuggled together and it's really cute. Um, I, I want to read another psalm. It's July 20th and I'm recording this on July 20th, but I'll post this on July 21st. So I'll, um, I'll read Psalm 21 for the director of music, a Psalm of David. The King rejoices in your strength, Lord. How great is his joy in the victories you give. You have granted him his heart's desire and have not withheld the request of his lips. You came to greet him with rich blessings and placed a crown of pure gold on his head. He asked you for life and you gave it to him, length of days forever and ever. Through the victories you gave, his glory is great. You have bestowed on him splendor and majesty. Surely you have granted him unending blessings and made him glad with the joy of, of your presence. For the king trusts in the Lord. Through the unfailing love of the Most High, he will not be shaken. Your hand will lay hold on all your enemies. Your right hand will seize your foes. When you appear for battle, you will burn them up as in a blazing furnace. The Lord will swallow them up in his wrath and his fire will consume them. You will destroy their descendants from the earth, their posterity from mankind. Though they plot evil against you and devise wicked schemes, they cannot succeed. You will make them turn their backs when you aim at them with drawn bow. Be exalted in your strength, Lord. We will sing and praise your might. Hey everyone, that's Psalm 21. And I mean, King David, you know, authored this. It was a song that he sang. And, you know, he was in a lot of battles. But, you know, he was king and he was also a prophet. And to me, it kind of sounds prophetic. It, it, Kind of sounds like he's speaking to the day of the Lord, you know, that the Bible talks about, which is, um, you know, when Messiah returns to fight the battles or just really destroy evil and fix everything, basically, and do away with evil. That's what I think. But... Share your thoughts if you want in the comments. Oh, look at the kitties. They're so cute. Oh my gosh. Adorable. I want to drop the camera on them. But aren't they cute? May we all rest like they do. Well, let's say a prayer. Lord, thank you for your word. You are a warrior. And one day, the final enemy, which I so look forward to, the final enemy will be done away with, and that final enemy is death. Your word says that you will one day destroy death. That death will die. Actually, I think it says in Revelation, death will be thrown into the lake of fire, which is interesting. If I'm right, I don't know. Anyway, um, I pray, Lord, for everybody, my YouTube friends, my friends, that you would help them to and help me to take refuge in your strength and to rejoice in your strength and to know that you are Wrong. I mean, <laughs> that's an understatement. Um, 
But yeah, like verse 13 says, Be exalted in your strength, Lord. We will sing and praise your might. Yeah. That's interesting, Lord, because I generally focus on your gentleness and your love and your... But I guess I don't really focus on your strength, but maybe I should. So help us to, to understand your strength and to, to sing praise. And and delight in, in your strength. I pray, Lord, um, just pray for peace, um, for the peace of Jerusalem and Israel, for the hostages to be comforted, and for my country, just for grace and mercy, and just for everybody who's watching or listening, that you meet them where they're at, and go up in, 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 a, in special ways that speak only to them. And I pray the same word. Pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Look at the kitties, everyone. Um, now, before I get off here, now I do want to look up that first death, the final enemy. Let me just see if I can find the verse I'm talking or mentioned. Final enemy. I think it's in Revelation. Let's see. Oh well, First Corinthians, I guess, talks about it too. First Corinthians fifteen, twenty four through twenty six. Um let me look at that real quick. Do to do first first Corinthians. Where did it go? It says that the Death will be the last. Well, now I can't find it. Wait a minute. Sorry, everybody. 15. Okay, there it is. 15. Oh, no, this one. Then, oh, 1 Corinthians 15, 24 through 26. Then comes the end when he delivers the kingdom to God the Father after destroying every rule and every authority and power for he must reign until he has put all his enemies under under his feet the last enemy to be destroyed is death yeah i was right first corinthians 15 24 through 26 i'm going to screenshot that play that one and then um i want to see the verse in Re revelation 20 um wait, where is it? Da, 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 da. Not that one. Um hold on, I'm looking. Everyone sorry. I know it's okay, let me get out of this website and look for where is it? I know it's in Revelation. Um, okay, sorry everyone. I wish you could hear the kitty snoring. Um, oh, Revelation 20 verses 14 through 15. Then death and Hades were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. Hmm. Yeah, that's interesting to me that death itself and Hades, or I guess hell, well, well, death itself is cast into the lake of fire, which is so interesting, isn't it? It's like, how, how does that even look? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It's interesting. But nonetheless, death will be done away with. And that is the final enemy. Okay. Well, that's what, I'm, that's what I... I'm going to screenshot that verse too. Okay, everybody. Well, I hope that you all have a good evening or day or morning. And, um, yeah. 
Look at the kitties. They're too cute. I hate to turn the camera off. So cute. All right, everybody. Bye.